subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel your technology and welcome to the iphone 10 versus the lg g7 thin q camera now i took both of these phones out in the real world and took a lot of samples we're going to get to that in just a second but quickly let's refresh you on the hardware and the software between both of these devices now the iphone 10 does come with a dual 12 megapixel camera one is an f 1.8 28 millimeter lens that's the wider single camera you also have a 12 megapixel f 2.4 52 millimeter 2x optical lens which gives you pretty good zoom a quad led flash here dual tone and you do have 2160p recording all the way up up to 60 fps and you get 30 and 24 for cinematic look 1080 at up to 240 frames per second now you can access this camera from the camera app itself also you can go from the lock screen here and just hit it like so and going through the software it's typical apple software you do have your photo you have your video slow-mo time lapse you can go ahead and click this to go in 2x you have the portrait modes and all those new ones that came with it natural light studio light you know contour light those you have square for instagram photos and panoramic also if you hold down you can burst here on the software uh, you also can flip to the front facing camera and on that selfie camera you have a 7 megapixel f 2.2 32 millimeter lens at 1080p and that is 30 fps up here we do have the you know, filter modes right here and then you have the timer live photos hdr and your flash heading into settings the iphone presents us with more camera settings well they're just the camera settings we talked about but you can change them here you can record different video formats and it tells you how much space they are going to take i wish apple would put this in their you know camera app itself you have different formats high efficiency and mo more compatible and then you have the record slow-mo option right here in the camera settings audio hdr and keep normal photo and you could turn on the grid if you want the you know grid you could see the grid right there now on the iphone so let's take a look at the lg g7 thin q okay so for the lg g7 thin q we do have ourselves a dual 16 megapixel camera here one is a 30 millimeter lens and the other is a very wide 16 millimeter lens one is at f 1.6 and one is at f 1.9 so those are pretty good apertures if you want to get them low light photos this can shoot up to 2160p at 60 fps although i haven't got the update yet for this phone and you can go up to 1080 60 and you could do 720 at 240 slow-mo and this also has hdr 24 bit 192 kilohertz stereo so gonna be great sound recording if you're doing video now in the g7 thin q software if you go to mode you do have auto mode you have manual mode and you have manual video mode as well and you do have cine video here food slow-mo panoramic flash jump cut which is a gif animation and ar stickers for augmented reality if you hit the settings icon you could see you do have your super bright camera which brightens up the scene at nighttime and that works pretty well you have a live photo cheese shutter tag locations grid and you could turn on full vision for the full picture but that's not really going to give you a great resolution now also right here if you hit this camera icon you can change between all the various photo sizes and you can click this video and you can go through all the various video sizes like i say the update will bring the 4k 60 and timer you can see you can change your timer right there so all the settings laid out nicely in the camera ui and then you can switch between your normal angle here and your wide angle lens like so you also have your filters right there and you could switch to that front facing camera which is an 8 megapixel f 1.9 at 26 millimeters this can do 1080 60 so it ups the iphone by being able to do 1080p at 60 fps you have your flash right there and then you have this portrait mode you just click this and it turns into a portrait and you also have this ai cam which is kind of like what huawei did when they're trying to recognize on the p20 pro everything in the environment and try to make the best photo that's what the ai cam does right there and google lens we all know by now what google lens is LG decided to include it here with the LG G7 Thin Q, which is just going to scan things and help you find places and stuff like that, scan text and various other things that you might want to point your camera at. So that's it between the iPhone 10 and the LG G7 Thin Q hardware and software. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of this video. Hit the thumbs up if you found it helpful and let us know in the comment section by the end which one you think has the better camera. Enjoy.
Okay guys, so here is some iPhone 10 front facing video and again it's about 6 37 p.m. at night. Sun's not quite down so I thought it'd be a good idea to take a video right now and this is basically what you're going to get on the iPhone 10 from the front. Okay guys, so here is some front facing video of the LG G7. I'm going to turn the angles a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. It's about 6 30 p.m. right now and uh, the sun's going down a bit but overall this is what you can expect from that front facing video on the LG G7 Thin Q. Alright guys, so here is some rear video on the Apple iPhone 10, 1080p, 60 frames, often what I shoot my videos in, and you can see this is basically the quality you're gonna get. I'm not using a gimbal, just being pretty steady with my hands. Let's go ahead and flip over to the LG G7 Thin Q to see how that does in the same resolution. Guys, so here is the LG G7 Thin Q, same shot. Now, it doesn't have the telephoto lens, so if you're trying to get that optical quality, it's not going to remain as sharp as the iPhone 10 at the far zoom. So, it's basically what you're going to get on the LG G7 when it comes to its video, but it's pretty stable. No problems overall here. Go ahead and judge which one you think is better down below.